Hello, this is Jonathan from Robotis, and today I'll be showing you an example implementation of external port control for Dynamixel robot actuators. External port input output is a feature provided by 540 sized and P series Dynamixel actuators, allowing the connection of external sensors or output devices directly to your Dynamixel actuators. This port allows you to integrate limit switches, status lights, or any other additional hardware directly into the Dynamixel systems without requiring the modification of Dynamixel actuators or the addition of extra integration hardware. In this example, I'll be creating a simple useless machine novelty robot using the digital pull down external input mode. With the initial concept in mind, I know what kind of materials I'll need to put this together. If you'd like to follow along at home, the basic bill of materials is one Dynamixel XM540 actuator, two digital switches, one Arduino based microcontroller, and one Molex 5120100500 cable, and your preferred breadboard or electronic prototyping solution. You can feel free to create your own version of this project with different materials if you'd like to try your hand in an improved design. With the basic project formulation out of the way, we can get started on putting it together. First, let's test the basic function of Dynamixel external inputs. Since I plan to directly wire the two switches to the input pins, I'm going to cut one end off the Molex connector cable and strip the wires I need and cut any other wires short so they don't extend past the servo casing once I seal everything back up. Now I'm going to load up Dynamixel Wizard and quickly check to make sure that everything's working as expected. The default external input pull down mode is the one that I'll be using for this project. So I can scroll down to the external port 1 data control table field and test the functionality of the external ports. I can simulate the switches connecting by touching the ends of the wires to each other. Anytime I do this, the circuit is completed and the control table field changes from a 0 to a 1. This allows me to monitor the state of an external switch using nothing but the Dynamixel itself and is perfect for something like a limit switch. In order to get the actuator to reverse its own direction when it hits this switch, I need to program an Arduino sketch that reacts to the state of the external port data control table item. I wrote a simple program that sets the actuator to turn slowly in velocity controlled mode. Every time the external port detects input, the actuator will switch direction. This loop will ordinarily run forever, but I decided I'd like the actuator to shut itself off after switching directions a few times. The code created for this simple program is available on my Dynamixel Projects GitHub repo, with a link down in the video description. Feel free to use my code yourself, modify it to suit your needs, or create your own version from scratch. For this build, I designed a simple 3D printed bracket to mount to the front of the Dynamixel and hold the switches in place. The specific model I designed is sized to fit the switches that I had on hand and to hold the switches near to the front of the horn to be pressed by a bolt attached to the mounting holes. But you can feel free to modify it to create a mount to fit switches that you have or to operate in a different way. With my design done and printed, I can move on to final assembly and testing. After putting everything together, I powered up my Dynamixel and Arduino and gave it a first full test run. This particular Dynamixel system may not do anything too impressive, but that's the point of this machine. At any rate, this simple design illustrates some simple capabilities of Dynamixel external inputs. Advanced users can integrate much more than simple limit switches like these with the external input ports. Project ideas for advanced users include the integration of analog inputs such as light sensors or thermistors, or utilizing multiple external inputs simultaneously for more complex input and reaction options. For more information about the many capabilities of the external input output ports, be sure to check out the Robotis eManual. Documentation for this project is available on my Dynamixel Projects GitHub repository. And if you want to share your take on this project, or just feel like chatting with other Robotis users, come visit us at the Robotis Community Forum. This has been Jonathan with Robotis, and I look forward to building more with you soon.